I, and whether it's guys that are here or move on, you always wish those guys would move on the best because if I sat there and tried to control everybody that wanted to leave for a variety of reasons, It'd be, it'd be a long, you know, I'm wasting time. I mean, you know, but hey, you, you gotta go somewhere because of that. You talk to them about why they want to leave. Um, but I wish them the best at North Texas other than this Saturday. Um, but it is interesting. You think if he's healthy, but again, credit goes to Seth. I think Seth, you know, we go back on it. I know that a lot of people did Seth win the job because he was uh, maybe more capable or was it because Grant was injured? I think it's just one of those perfect combinations of things that occurred. And, in the universe and then it worked out and I think we're quite pleased with Seth's progression um, and I know Grant's a heck of a football player as well. How was that process in the spring and then post spring with him? Was it contentious? Was it, how would you describe? No, was Grant, it, Grant and I have always had a great relationship. I, mm -hmm. You know, there's there's young men that have, are no longer part of the roster. I can honestly say that the last conversation I had with him was, you know, after practice, all right, see you tomorrow. Sometimes yeah. they don't show back up. There's also been people we've removed. Grant was, you know, those Grant and I had adult conversations, sat down, discussed it. Um, I've got a lot of respect for him. He wants to play ball. Um, he, he's capable. He certainly has proven that. I mean, anybody that watched him, even while I was here, even previously here at Arizona, and um, in the spring, right, the spring game, he played fantastic and did some really good things. And he, he's a top line class act, and I wish him nothing but the best. Imagine it's easy, when Seth is playing at the level he's playing, it's probably just all, all in all just easier to stump a guy. Yeah, think. I mean, I think it's, uh, and that's, the quarterback situation is one of those, right? You always, do I make the right decision? And I, I always like to compare things to just kind of the history of the game that I love, that we all love, right? We all love football. You go back, like, Drew Blitzo, and this is a complete different comparison to the other one. Drew Blitzo gets hurt on a late hit out of bounds. Well, Tom Brady, they weren't sure, do they, they move on, throw him, is he good enough? Tom Brady goes in and then it's like, well, well we realized what we really had. And, um, and that's just kind of the nature of that quarterback position. Did you make the right choice? Did you do that? Um, you know, and we're seeing this ever changing in that position. I think I'm gonna throw a stat probably wrong. 55% of quarterbacks in division one are transferred or maybe it's even 55% of the starters are transferred. So did you make the right choice, you know? Last year we knew that there's a lot of risk in playing a, a true freshman quarterback. It was the first time in program history we did that. I'm hoping, like I tell you guys all the time, I'm really putting our, you know, pushing our chips in with Seth, right? That development that he occurred last year playing those games as a true freshman, it wasn't always pretty. He played at a very high level. Um, but now we're gonna see, okay, man, he's playing better game in and game out. And we hope that, you know, as a true sophomore, we're gonna see him continue to improve. So. How do you, you 